Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. I need to look up from on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. They have to go through an extra exam. I'm not entirely sure what that consists of, but there's an exam in order to become that unit. The battle of the eagle and lion is finally upon us. This is our chance to show off the results of your expert training, Professor. If you say so. Have Lady Rhea and Seth really not filled you in? Well, if that's the case, I'm happy to explain. The battle of the eagle and lion takes place every year during the Wyvern Moon. It can be best described as a mock battle between the three houses. Much like the one we had during the Great Tree Moon. Do you remember, Professor? Yes. This battle will take place in Empire territory, at Grander Field. In other words, far removed from the monastery. It's a mock battle between the three houses. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. Your Highness, if the rumors are true, I believe Professor Manuela and Professor Hanneman will not be joining us. Ah, yes. Right you are. Given recent events, Professor Manuela has opted to sit this one out. Since she won't be present, Professor Hanneman has decided to skip this year as well. In that case, what should I do? Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. Professor Manuela! Are you feeling better already? Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. <laughs> In that case, perhaps it is best that you sit this one out. Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. <laughs> So, if I'm the only professor present... We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. There's another prologue available. A couple of them. Sure, this one. I'm not crazy about Sylvain. I like him as a unit. But nothing really beyond that. What's the matter, Ingrid? I never hear you sigh like that. Oh, hi, Dorothea. And hello, Professor. Nothing's the matter. Well, nothing major. You don't look like it's nothing major. <laughs> then again, I suppose you always have a furrowed brow, don't you? 
Truth be told, there's rather a lot going on. It seems that there's always something to worry about. Uh, what's worrying you right now? A childhood friend who's always causing trouble, my family, things like that. You see, I received a letter from my father recently. From Count Galatea? What a kind gentleman to have for a father. I thank you. But the content within the letter is what I find troubling. Let me see. Oh, it's a marriage proposal. For you. What? Have you ever met the suitor? I've not met him, though I've heard his name here and there. He began life as a merchant, but has somehow achieved rank in court. An enterprising noble from an allied territory. It's most likely that he wants the crest of Daphnol that I bear to adorn his family name. Hmm, yes, that sounds about right. The jerk. You sound as though you know him, do you? That's kind of how, isn't that how monarchies worked? Arranged marriages to form alliances between territories? Yes, I must admit that I know him. He tried to court me when I was a singer. And the answer to my question is yes, that's what they did. That's how World War I broke out. Europe's feudal system caved, exploded in on itself. Explo imploded on itself. And a civil war broke out. Best advice I can give you, Ingrid? Stay far, far away from this guy. He's offered a sizable dowry, so I must at least consider it. For the sake of my family. Dowry? <laughs> Blood money. That's all it is. Dorothea, I... This jerk's entire fortune is soaked in blood. Do you want to rebuild your own house using that kind of money? Spins all the same, doesn't it? I mean, it's all just rumors, but I think it still might be worth investigating. True. What do you think, Professor? Should we go check this guy out? Yes. Great. Let's tell the others. Uh, really? <sighs> okay. So Dorothea's coming to help me on this? Yes. Yeah, I can take Blaine with me. A Lancer. And you're a priest class. Okay. Well, let's see you in action. Uh need a healer. Yeah, you're with me. Sylvain, how about you set this one out? I'm gonna bring you in. I like Annette, like, a lot. I really like Annette. She's a very likable character. Okay, we'll go with this. Or get Ingrid to target destination. Defeat conditions are Ingrid or Dorothea falls in battle. The more we look into this guy, the more I see he's a monster and no good for my Ingrid. No kidding. There's no denying it. We better get back to the monastery. <laughs> Hold on a minute, you brats. Any shippers out there? Hand over the girl. Surely you can't mean me. Wait, did he send them? This jerk figures he can grab Ingrid before things get too messy for him. Of course, we know the truth about him now, and he'll want to kill us and get rid of the evidence. But we'll never let him take Ingrid. Come on, let's hurry! 
protect Ingrid. Don't let anyone get near her. Haha! <laughs> You'll never escape! Okay, run like hell. Oh, Flame is a mage! Okay. That's that's the wrong button. Stay focused. should I do? Actually, the do here might make good use of that killer axe. I'll give it my all. You're a healer, a very good healer at that. Here goes. Thank you. I'll go. Ready. That's my cue. Fire and thunder, you're a mage. Okay. Here we go. Damn. I am spent. I'll increase the reward. Now hurry up and capture that girl. That merchant is giving orders to the bandits. I bet if we take him out, reinforcements will cease. Perhaps, but... He's all the way over here. And that's well out of the way. Dorothea box in. You're gonna just keep close as a healer. There's no arbitrary time limit. Oh Jesus! Damn it! Not good. Thank you. 
there. Oh my no, that's steel. I thought was, there was pair up mechanics. In a sense, there is some. But not as pronounced as it is in other games. Like the Fates and Awakening. Almost there. I will probably hunt the rest of them down once I get Ingrid and Dorothea close and closer to the destination. You all have to take some light damage for one turn. Nothing y'all can't tough out. Oh, jeez. It's an ambush! Ingrid's in trouble! No, y'all are not. Let's begin. Come on! Let us away. I kind of want the chest, too. Yeah. Nice. So this is how it's done. God damn it, Ash. Damn it all! I'm a all roses have thorns. It's time! Are you serious? Oh no, that's a net. Oh. <laughs> that's still funny. Where's the do? Way down there. Give up.
that put them out of harm's way. Good. They are moving in, though. You fought well. Or you know, a crest. That's that's fine. Thank you. I have improved. Damn. There went my healer. Oh, everyone's health is good. Ingrid, you go for the kill. Get yourself some nice earned experience. For greatness. My technique. I hope I didn't just screw that up. I may have, but she should be okay for a turn or two. I shouldn't strain myself. Back to the heel pad. That won't be enough for a kill with the javelin, but head on. It certainly Over is. Already? Put you out of harm's way. Stay focused. That's my cue. Let's draw them in. Devil Axe. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not want to put you in the front of it. Ow! 
No, 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 no. Luckily... I'm with you. Dr. Trump. That's how it's done. Another step forward. Send that to the convoy. Too slow. Another win. I'm impressed. The kill. I did what I had to. Got you a level. Could have been better. I'm not at my. But it could have been worse. Keep moving forward. Then he's showing up at the rear. I would never expect an escort mission in a Fire Emblem game of all things. They're upon us. Felix, Annette, I'm gonna send you back to take care of these assholes. I'll bring up your rear. I need these two on the keel pad now. To do, you protect them from the corridor. That is that. Okay, he won't come. Give me the chance to move in with it. Stay vigilant. Okay, let's bring in the next one. Should I have held back? Absolutely not. Oh, you are coming in. But now I get to kick your ass. Predictable. No hesitation. You know, I could have had that crit As sooner. Expected. 
Ah, ok. I have held back. I can't take this on alone, but I can have these guys come in with a splinter attack and focus on working their way back up to this asshat. I need you to fall back to that Going healing easy. pad. I have held back. I'll do my best. Next time, bring your friends. Not good. It's over. You fought well. Practice yield. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make a move for that. Oh, okay. Mindful. <laughs> Should I have held back? <laughs> that is that.
Correct. What's done is done. Felix, get in there and help her out. Stay focused. A healing staff. Could have done that first, you know. That worked out. Should I have held back? I need to unequip the sword of the creator. Let the lesson begin. We could have opened with that. Should I have held back? I need to get a bit of rest battle, a on that sword so it can recharge. So As expected. Let's do this. Three damage, and yeah, that's the one you miss. That is that. Oh, that's annoying. Fought well. That is that. An antitoxin. I have held back. I thought if I took out the merchant, the reinforcements would end. Well, get ready, you lot. God. More of these assholes. Enemies in hiding? Here? They are really getting on my last nerve. Let's think carefully. This side of that thing. Never mind. That's just kind of sad, man. Too easy. A threat. 
threat eliminated. Proceed with caution. Each battle, a chance to grow. As expected. Is that it? Yep. Violet is the MVP. Added to your barracks. Okay, I can change my battalion. Okay. Welcome back. Did you speak with your father? I did. I just returned to the monastery. Clearly. As soon as I informed him of the suitor's unsavory tendencies, he rejected the proposal outright. Were we to form ties with such an individual, it would bode poorly for our family, regardless of the weighty dowry offered. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad it all worked out. You and me both. My father also insisted I take this. A uh, hero's relic? Indeed. This is the Magic Lance Luin, which has been passed down for generations within my family. My father and siblings have no way of using it, since they bear no crest. Father told me I should take it, and use it to protect myself with. He said it's far better used protecting his daughter than gathering dust. Oh, that's so sweet. Your father really does mean well, Ingrid. He's unendingly stubborn, but I am proud of who he is. Dorothea, Professor, I want to thank you. Of course. We couldn't just do nothing while you were facing a life of being married to a monster. I could never hand over my lovely Ingrid to some jerk who only wants her for her crest. Oh. Shippers? Do I belong to you now, rather than to myself? <laughs> so, even though it's supposed to be for her, it goes into my convoy. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Any day now. Instruct manually. Instruct Dimitri on the ways of the lamp, the sword, and the flag. Sunder. That worked out well. That. Okay. Struck you on the ways of the lance and the flying. 
to get your lance prowess up a bit. I appreciate and flying. That was challenging. Flying. A priest, lance and faith. Interesting. You're at C level lance. Why were you with a training lance? You know what? Doesn't matter. B. Rescue. No need to just. I would like. And Annette. I really need you to get that faith up. Thanks for your time. Yes. <laughs> And you can now use healing magic. Yes, you are. Begin lecture. I have a question. Ask away. Magic is not my forte. Being a gifted swordsman is. I think my time is best serves practicing swordplay technique. Why should I waste my time attending lectures just to improve magic skills from mediocre to average? You should step outside your comfort zone every one now and again. Now stop complaining and go to class. Wow, I asked the wrong person. Professor. Yes. Hmm. Let's give it a try. I am a little worried. We did well enough. Yeah, it says so say so you say, but you did perfectly. And Felix, you actually got a bit of magic up. That's pretty funny. I've got it. I'm getting much better. And you can use restore. I'm getting the hang of this. Sword breaker. Perhaps I should start training you in a bit of magic, since those are your goals. Okay. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses, as I go do another prologue. This time, for Casanova. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.